YouTube shopping is going to change the world. So I don't know if this is my idea or if it's just common sense, but I've been thinking about this for over a decade, even from before YouTube even existed. And I've been sending this idea to all the Google executives that I can find, YouTube executives, Neil Mo Mo Monahan, uh, all the YouTube staff kind of that I can find on the internet, sending comments on YouTube, sending comments on the blogger posts, uh, sending comments in the Twitter or in LinkedIn. But I don't see this imp implemented yet. And um, I don't even know if they're working on it, if they've considered it, but here it is. So YouTube shopping is, is very simple, but I think it will change the world. It will change how YouTube functions. It will increase monetization by something like 10X on every YouTube video. So that's really revolutionary because this means that so much better content is gonna be produced and put on the, on the platform. So it should be in YouTube's interest to consider this and implement it. So here's how it works. You know how Amazon does affiliate links? Uh, and uh, if you link to, with using an Amazon affiliate link, you get 4% commission per sale, okay? So there's a lot of YouTubers, they put in their YouTube comments, they put those Amazon affiliate links, or they put affiliate links to a whole bunch of other things. They use this genius thing that automatically makes uh, affiliate links for all the different countries in the world. There's all kinds of affiliate stuff, and I think it probably generates something like half of all YouTubers' income is all the stuff that's not YouTube. It's outside of YouTube, is affiliate stuff of a whole bunch of affiliate stuff, commissions on sales and stuff like that. So, I think YouTube needs to implement that inside YouTube in a much smarter way. And it's totally fine if YouTube takes the cut. They might take 50%. That would be fine because it would be much more efficient than spamming and polluting the, com the descriptions with all these affiliate links. So here's how it should work, okay? YouTube, I know, can figure out how what product out there is the most relevant for every video. It could even be more than one product. Like, maybe somebody wants to buy this Nike shirt and YouTube can automatically detect and recognize this is a Nike shirt, you know? So is this dream that's been there for decades when people are watching smart video, like IPTV kind of stuff, which is YouTube, and then the idea that you can kind of click on stuff and purchase it. But, you know, YouTube should be able to understand what I'm saying. They do understand. They are understanding everything that people say on every YouTube video. And also based on what's in the description, what's in the title, they can automatically identify the re relevant product. And then just link to it automatically in one click, people should be able to buy it. Okay, it's very simple. It's like a layer on YouTube where you can buy everything in the whole world from any online store. So now there's another thing people are gonna say, ah, but mm, YouTube's evil or something, I, I, don't, I don't know. But that's, that's the thing. The EU wants Google Shopping to be open for competitors' um, search results to be in the shopping results. So for example, a lot of people are using Amazon Prime. So if viewers have an Amazon Prime account, it should be simple for them to just say, I have an Amazon Prime. Show me Amazon results by preference in priority because I want to use my Amazon Prime. So YouTube should let people use Amazon Prime. I know it's going to be hard for people to imagine that YouTube would partner with Amazon like that because they consider it to be like evil enemies or something like that, but they shouldn't. It should just be integrated automatically. The Amazon commission is around 4%. Give half to the YouTuber, something like that. Maybe it should be more than half. That would be maybe more fair, but I think half is fair because YouTube is an amazing website. It, it's, it's the biggest website in the world by far in terms of bandwidth. There's no other website coming even remotely close to YouTube's bandwidth consumption. People say that uh, Netflix is bigger sometimes. It might be uh, like, uh, you know, at 8 p.m. there might be a lot of YouTube, uh, Netflix traffic also, but YouTube is so huge. Like, imagine that everybody in the world could upload 4K videos for free, unlimited length. It's, it's completely insanely amazing. So of course there's a lot of cost in running YouTube. So it's totally fair that YouTube takes something like half, whatever they can, you know, 
That's what they do with advertising, supposedly. So they can do that with YouTube shopping also. And it's much better for the YouTuber to take, get 2% of a 10 times more efficient transaction than putting these links in the description that nobody reads anyway. I mean, few people read and very few people are gonna click in the description. So it has to be integrated automatically. So YouTube shopping needs to integrate with every affiliate system in the world, every commission-based uh, online store in the world. There should be, of course, the YouTube shopping algorithm, the Google shopping algorithm should be right there, but it should be very simple for people to switch to another competitor to Google shopping uh, in terms of another price comparison engine if they prefer another one. Maybe they prefer price runner. Maybe there they could be like a whole bunch of competitors that can come with price comparison um, uh, solutions. And there should even be an easy kind of UI where you can compare all the different price comparison engines and really find the cheapest price if that's what you want. Uh, or if you like, for example, prefer Amazon Prime, you can have that as kind of like the primary thing, but kind of on the side. If there YouTube shopping, Google shopping sees another store that might be cheaper or your preferred comparison engine or any other price comparison engines find something a little bit cheaper, it could also say, hey, maybe you don't want to use Amazon Prime because it might be cheaper on Best Buy or some other place, okay? So this little thing, YouTube shopping, I, I keep guessing or thinking that it's going to increase 10x the revenue of every YouTuber. Because I really think that, you know, it shouldn't be, cons it's not advertising. It is a little bit evil because you kind of want people to consume more stuff and buy more stuff, kind of. But people do anyway. But instead of them watching stuff and then Googling it without giving any commission to, this, to the YouTuber, it should just be smooth. Um, if I make a, a video about, let's say, um, a camera or something like that, right? This should be an automatically, like let's say you're watching it on TV. You know this OK button that's on the remote? OK usually pauses the video. But something like the OK button, there might be a new button on the remote, but I think it should be kind of like basically the main button, OK. When you pause the video, there might be a thing, instead of just having the option to play the video again, you might have the option to just click kind of the icon that says buy now, kind of, and that, if you want, opens the shopping pr procedure, the, the checkout process on your phone while it continues playing on your TV. So you say, you, you're not interrupting the video, you're just buying the shirt while you continue watching the video but you, you're buying it through your phone or your tablet or your laptop, whatever is your preference. It could go over there. You could also even buy it on the TV. So it, it, this is, it should be so simple, but it should be kind of like a one-click process. So it should be super simple to just buy that thing, continue watching, you know, not interrupt, not go and, uh, if you want, you can read the specs on your phone, but it should be automatic, you know? Like if you're doing Chromecasting from your phone, then your phone is a perfect place to also do this checkout procedure while the video continues on the TV. The same thing should happen on the phone. If you're watching it on the phone, you pause. Oh, it's, it's, it might be kind of like a little um, thing in the corner, perhaps. You know, like, you know, like the branding comes up in the, in the corner that says you can buy and just, you know, it doesn't really disturb too much. It should just be like, this kind of feeling that the, the viewer should have this feeling that they can always buy what's relevant and it should always be automatic. And the YouTuber can also adjust. If they see that the algorithm is pointing towards um, the wrong product, they can say, no, it's not that camera, it's actually this model, you know, or something like that, just like tweak it just slightly. It might also be the viewer that might tweak it slightly. If they see a recommended product that's not quite seems to be correct, they can, you know, notify that it should actually be this one, not that one, and that would be more relevant or something like that. So it's mostly going to be automatic, detected automatically, but there could be a, a level of adjustments by the YouTuber, by the viewer, to just make sure that the, the most relevant linked affiliated thing is really the most relevant. And the YouTuber should also be able to integrate all 
any and all affiliated plans directly into this system. So, you know, like if it's all these things where, uh, you, I don't know, you set up a Wix uh, website or whatever, people want to kind of be the main thing that they want to promote with affiliates and all this stuff, or sign up to Uber, or sign up to uh, uh, Airbnb, whatever people link to, it should be automatically, you know, like it, it shouldn't be so, so difficult for Google to integrate with every affiliated system in the world and just make it so easy to, you know, Basically, you just passed the link in the description and YouTube say, okay, we handle the, the affiliation, you know, we just handle it from now. So that's what I think about uh, YouTube shopping. I don't know why it's not there yet. And I really think it's, it would solve a lot of issues for a lot of YouTubers because um, advertising, I mean, it's, it's amazing that it works like this and I, I, it's really cool, but it's very small also, you know, sometimes it's, I don't want to say the numbers, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, how much the numbers are, but it's it's so small. Um, you need to get millions and millions of views to be able to do this as a job. But what if suddenly the monetization was 10 times more? Imagine the revolution in media landscape for the whole world. Imagine that basically nobody would want to not be on YouTube. I mean, how crazy would that be for YouTube? You know, they, they, it, of course, they're the biggest in the world, and they might wonder if they can manage growing to something that's 10 times bigger. But it kind of has to happen. So every content creator in the world will just want to have all their content on YouTube, every movie, every TV show. Netflix will come onto YouTube. Um, Amazon will put all their content on YouTube. Everybody will just do it because it will be a loss of monetization not to do it. So... Okay, so that's why I'm thinking YouTube shopping, the future of the whole world.